What's going on YouTube? No Sense here with another tank update. Um, I know I haven't done a tank update in a little while. I wanted to just show off a few new guys. Uh, the last one I did was Reefa Palooza in February. Um, that was a long time ago as far as I'm concerned. Too long. Um, I'll go over some of the things that uh, are new, some of the things that aren't. Um, I just wanted to show you trying to get some color. The lights have been off. They're blue. Uh, I'll turn the lights on now. Um, but with that being said, I had an issue with my lights. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I had these in, in uh, for the Reef of Palooza time. The 165 watt LEDs on my tank. Um, that's what the tank looks like without the blues. Um, I looked at, uh, actually, I was watching one of my old videos with Big Munoz, and um, I realized that I needed to do a tank update. Uh, you can't really see the color on these guys. I'll, sh I'll just add some pictures uh, with the colors on there. But, um, yeah, these guys I bought Reef of Palooza on my last video with just a few polyps. And you'll see here now that there's a lot here. Even more here. In the back row, we have some over here. I have candy cane zoas. These uh, waving hands. Um, I know they're supposed to be a nuisance coral. But whatever. Uh, I have some zinnia here. Some more nuisance coral. I got some. A star polyp here that's closed because the light was off for the majority of the time. Um, I have a uh, frog spawn that you can't really see the color on. It's beautifully green. Uh, I have a trumpet coral that was at work and it's not anymore. It came into the big boy tank because it wasn't doing well in my small work tank. I got a bunch of Kenya trees. One here. There's a few over here. We have some now over here. This Zoa, I believe I had for the last video. I got some more. I got some more Zoas up here that are beautiful color. And they have some sort of polyp sponge growing on that. I don't know what that is, but it looks cool. I got uh, a Monty that's actually growing quite well. But uh, as far as the coral, I mean the fish, I have a maroon right here that's beautiful. If he comes out, you'll see how orange he is. He's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I have the same OG that I had, the yellow tang. And um, the fox face, which is around here somewhere. I got a chorus ras, which God knows where he is. Um, the lights were out. I got my uh, hippo tang. Uh, I know the tang police, they're out. But uh, it's 120 gallon. I know I still may. Uh... So you're going to hear it no matter what from you guys. But anyway. Um, I have my old school Gorgonia. I don't know if I had that in the picture. I have a, another Gorgonia over here. Beautifully growing Gorgonia. Um, oh look who it is. You can't see it. It's a tentacle. That's my... Uh... My bristle star. I haven't seen him in many moons. But anyway, let's get back to what happened. My lights. Uh, if you see here, I built this canopy myself. Very, very tall canopy. Uh, if you can see, because I needed to hang my lights from them. So I hand built this canopy. Um, and what ended up happening was I was plumbing the tank for a new pump that I have and it fell off of the edge here once it fell off the edge the whole tank came forward my lights took a drink and they're over in the corner there because uh, I had to buy new ones so that was a uh, $400 mistake or not really a 266 is what they cost me for both of them but uh, that was a very expensive mistake that won't happen again I guarantee it but um, now for the update of the sump, I have, as I always had, let me get this out of the way, I've always had my two filter socks, 
Uh, I think I made a DIY one for one of the videos. I have a UV light right there. I have my heater down there. And I have a real 2500. Let me see if I can get a good look at this guy. A real 2500 that's connected to this monster of a sun. Let's see if I can get a good view of that. All right, just to let you get a understanding of how big this is. This is a 40 gallon breeder and it still sticks up, I want to say, another foot. Let me see here. This would be six inches and then another one of these, probably less than a foot, like 11 inches from what a 40 gallon breeder is. Uh, 10 or 11 inches. But anyway, so that's the uh, my uh, skimmer that I got running and that's skimming the hell out of this thing. Um, I got some live rock in here, as I always did, uh, with some Calerpa that's growing. But the reason why my tank isn't looking... Oh, I also have a rock anemone. Let me see where he is. There he is. He's uh, hiding because the lights were out for a really long time. Uh, out completely dark. Big Munoz lent me a T5 light that's right here. I'll bring that to him tomorrow. And um, yeah, for the most part, we're done uh, with the update. Let me know what you think. I'm going to be doing videos a little more regularly now. Take a quick video of my red emerald crab. Um, and look at the little baby guy. Look at that little guy. Anyway, um, I'm going to throw some pictures on here at the end so that uh, you guys can see uh, exactly uh, what the picture, what the coral looks like under the, the proper lights. But, um, well, anyways, that's my time, guys. I'm going to let you go. Please enjoy the tank. Let me know what you think. Um, all right. Have a good one.